Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about how video game reporter Jason Schreer has actually talked about GTA 6 again, when to expect it, what the release year or timeline might look like, and a whole lot more. So Jason Schreer is one of the most reputable video game reporters in the industry, previously working for Kotaku, now working for Bloomberg News. He is the uh, co-host of a podcast. He's the author of multiple gaming books. One is actually set to release in a little under a month. I'll leave a link to his Twitter page in the description so that you can follow him if you want. I'm sure many of you guys already do, though. And he has a fun history of actually talking about Rockstar and GTA 6 in general on several occasions and even pushing back against some of the insiders that we've talked about on this channel before. So this is what he had to say. It was sort of a bombshell post on April 15th, 2020. The next GTA is still a ways away, so it'll be a while before we see whether the company's attempts to mitigate crunch are really successful. But in the last year, Rockstar has made several quality of life improvements and replaced managers that staff described as toxic. So the big takeaway from there, the next Grand Theft Auto game, GTA 6, is still a ways away. And even before his article came out on March 25th, 2020, someone ended up asking him, is there anything you could tell us about GTA 6? There were a few rumors indicated for the March month and now presumably perhaps April for the announcement. With him saying, I don't expect news on the next GTA for a while. And then he started actually going back and forth. I wouldn't really say going back and forth like he was going out of his way, but responding to some industry insiders. And one of those insiders was Yan2295, who was responding or said Leslie didn't work on RDR2, referring to Leslie Benzies. And despite what Jason said, there's absolutely no way GTA 6 is still in early stages. And he said, sorry, dude, it is not what fans want to hear, but that game is years away. With Yan following up with saying, I don't doubt your knowledge and sources, but there is absolutely no way it just doesn't work. So you guys can see that's the sort of back and forth that was happening between insiders and Jason. It was sort of like a he said, she said. In fact, it got so big that like even memes were being created about like who to ultimately believe, whether you want to believe the insiders or video game reporters like Jason Schreer or even some of the other leakers that have popped up now and then and have been claiming to have Grand Theft Auto 6 knowledge. And so all of them have roughly been saying different things, but they've all been contradicting each other, particularly Jason, that it, the game is like years away and we're not going to be getting uh, information anytime soon. In fact, Jason on his podcast actually talked about this uh, his interaction with some of the, the Rockstar community and about GTA 6 as well. So take a listen to this right now. To each of them. I'm surprised that you weren't as, as excited as I was about the very first reveal. Which yeah, same. Was thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> the very first was a real, a real bombshell. <laughs> Gotta wonder what was the thought process behind this. It must have involved money somehow because the first thing they showed was Grand Theft Auto V, which came out in 2013. <laughs> and the, the funny thing yeah, is... a new question question mark game question mark I think yeah. I think it would have been like totally cool and impressive if they'd shown it running on PS5 but they were very deliberate about saying this is PS4 footage of the game so they couldn't even show next gen footage of it hello baby um they couldn't even show next gen footage of the game which is hilarious yeah she's she's pissed um my, my daughter is very upset about that um but yeah they announced that it's coming to PS5 remastered next year but didn't actually show us what it what it'll be like on PS5 I was half excited expecting Skyrim to come after that. Yeah, Skyrim is going to come And also next. Skyrim. Mm. But, yeah. um, I will say that I know a lot of people out there, especially a lot of like rabid GTA fans, probably skewing younger, have been uh, upset because I said that GTA 6 was kind of early and was in early development and will be out for another few years. Um, I think if, if GTA 5 coming out next year to PS5 is an yeah. evidence of that, then like, I don't know what, what else is? you'll yeah. believe. Because GTA 6 is, is a ways away. Like, I would not expect that that game for i mean maybe like at the end of 
to 2022. I 2023, I think, is more realistic for a game like that. So that podcast and that quote right there ended up coming out after the uh, Grand Theft Auto V expanded and enhanced announcement. So on Sony's press conference over the summer. And then, of course, he, he talked about how like everyone was stunned to see the Rockstar logo. But it really wasn't what people ultimately wanted to see. Uh, they wanted to see like GTA 6 or at a minimum Grand Theft Auto 5 PS5 footage, but no one ended up getting that. So that was him basically just explaining, you know, all the things he had said online over tweets. And that brings us to our update today. Uh, we actually got a response from Jason. It looks like someone ended up asking him, Jason. Do you still expect GTA 6 to be released around 2023, like you said last year in the Triple Click podcast? And he responded to him saying, expect everything to be way later than you think because of COVID. So unfortunately, but not surprisingly, this pandemic, COVID, it looks like it's going to have a significant impact on lots of walks of life, including the gaming industry. And it looks like it's going to affect Grand Theft Auto 6 as well. And that's not surprising given the unique circumstances that everyone has been in surrounding this pandemic, working from home, social distancing, all the crazy new normal stuff that we're now still trying to get used to. So unfortunately, I view this as bad news because it does take a lot to create these titles and these video games. And then you add a pandemic on top of it and all the challenges that that presents itself. Uh, I really do believe it could be a bit longer before Grand Theft Auto 6 is here, revealed, or even announced. And he said 2023, it might even be later than that. Could you imagine not having GTA 6 before the 10-year anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 5? That, to me, is just shocking. 10 years between Grand Theft Auto games, I would have never expected something like that to happen. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly don't want Rockstar to actually rush Grand Theft Auto 6. We want it to be even more amazing than GTA 5. And even though they might not necessarily be ready with the game, I think them just talking about its existence would be nice, like a little bit of an announcement or a little bit of like a teeny reveal or something like that. I think that would settle people down a bit, even if it was just something simple like, hey, we're working on the game. We know you're anxious, it exists, and then like expect details soon or something like that. But knowing Rockstar, it's very likely that they will not be making any such announcement until they are absolutely ready because I would believe their biggest fear is announcing something and then having so many setbacks that they aren't able to, you know, back up their promises of actually talking about something like this. So that's sort of the update that we have today. I know it's not a glamorous one and certainly isn't the best of news, but that's kind of what we expected with a pandemic. Things are going to be delayed. Uh, I think that's just the reality of the situation, but it looks like Rockstar has things under control just given what they've done over the last really year or so. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Who are you believing here? The insiders, Jason Schreer. What do you think this means for GTA 6? Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. So let me know what you're thinking down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.